Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing for Disney content every single day. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and a share. Today, we are working on our run vlog, but the other thing is, and we don't normally do this, but guys, we have an unboxing yeah. or an unbagging. Unbagging. Yeah. It's an Andy unbagging. So nerd alert is some tech. <laughs> so well, the other thing too is is that we're going to test out some of the the new tech that we've actually unboxed already, and that is we're going to test out these um, ND filters from uh, Polar Pro. Again, not sponsored by Polar Pro at all, nope. but we are going to test out those because it's it's a nice day out. It's the sun is in and out, but yeah. figure hey we're out in the daylight. Let's give it a whirl and see what we think. Right now we have the GoPro nine hero black lens the stock lens already on it but let's see what we've got in here you want to hold this liz i'm gonna hold this all right let's see what we got here and it's kind of windy so pardon the wind noise yeah Ooh, la, la. this is the gopro hero nine black media mod and i got this because we were having such a horrible problem with the wind noise yeah which is great because it's windy week. yay yeah here we go, got the box all untaped. So this is how it comes out of the box. Uh, it's got the thing for the attachment. It's got another little doodad here, which is really cool. You can't have too many of these, which is really nice. So this way you can actually clip it on to um, different holders. This, of course, goes into here twist on so got that so here is the prize right here so this is the media mod and it just pops right out of there so very very simple packaging I like that this is the wind muff that can go on to here nice for the, for the microphone and I don't know how that works yet so let's we'll give it a second it here all right so now we just need to figure out how all of this goes on to here. Figured it out. So this, all right, this is obviously when it goes on to the GoPro, it's going to go like this. However, the first thing you need to do is you need to take the side opposite from the mic. You need to pop it open like that, it comes open. I want you to notice something though. You see this little pin right there. That is actually going to go in where the normal door is for the battery on the GoPro. And then you have all of these connectors right here. HDMI out. You have the USB-C and then also a mic port in there as well if you want to do like an external mic. And then those close tight. The other neat thing is you've got all of these cold shoe mounts, two of them to be exact, that you can actually hook on other, other things to. So let's get this on to the GoPro. All right, guys. So it is it is on, and the windscreen is on it now. The wind muff. The so, mic, so and it is see how well very does. windy. I mean, if you can see, Liz's hair is blowing. It's blowing in the wind. It's and windy. let us know how it sounds. I hope it sounds really, really good right now, or at least yeah. decent, because it's got the shotgun microphone that comes with it. It's directional, and it's got a wind muff. So hopefully. With it being super windy right now, yeah, it is really super windy. Yeah, so hopefully it's we're giving it a good a good uh, sound test, and now we're going to go actually out. And we're going to run and see if we can test out some of these ND filters. We are on the track. Liz has decided that today we're going to go the opposite way on the track. It just feels right. <laughs> it's a good way to start the week. <laughs> um, here's the thing: we're actually using one of the filters, the uh, Polar Pro filters, right now. This is the um, neutral density filter 32. Uh, so it is like the, um, I guess the, the least amount of blockage, I think. And so, or the lightest, I guess you could say. And we have full throttle sun beating down on us. But they say this is kind of good to use like in early morning or in the later evening. So that's this filter. So ND32 from Polar Pro on the GoPro 9. There's another view too, guys. So this is, this is of the mountains and everything in the background. Got the sun kind of right off frame there. It's trying to peek through. 
Yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. Also, let me know too, how does the sound, how does it sound right now? Because I'm behind the camera, so that means that the directional mic that's part of the media mod is facing away from me. Do I sound muffled? Does it just not sound good at all? How's the wind muff doing? So now we're trying the ND filter 16. Um, let me know what you think of that. To me, it looks like everything's just a little bit more. It's the one in the middle. So there's a 32, a 16, and an 8. So what do you think? Also, Liz went back to the mats. So still, again, those shin splints. No fun at all. No fun at all. But I know she's going to work it out. She's going to get better. It's just one of those things that takes time to heal. The mats, though, since they're the hard rubber mats, they, they actually make the shin splints kind of not noticeable for. So it's good that she's at least able to do that. We were planning to do the 5K this weekend. So for the Run Disney Lion King challenge and still hope to do it we wanted to definitely do it before we headed to disney but and there's still time i mean it's i hope we can i hope we can do it like that's what we're that's what we're out here testing making sure that we're ready to go making sure that we can do it safely just completing those types of things can mean the world whether you do it in you know the fastest time or not that's not always yes it's always good to get better and push yourself and but you never want to injure yourself to the point that you cannot do it so that's what we're doing is we're just trying to make sure that we're gonna we're gonna hit the goal of completing the 5k because we're gonna do three of them this summer <laughs> they stand corrected this is the ND filter the number eight and this one is actually the one that lets in the most light so this one is lets in sorry lets in the most light the 16 is right there in the middle and then the 32 is really kind of the most sun blocking or uv ray blocking it definitely blocks the most light from coming into the camera now that the media mod is on can actually tell my mic levels that is cool now I can see them on the back of the screen here just notice that that's really neat I cannot see them on the front of the screen so the front of the camera does not show the mic levels but at least in the back it does that's kind of nice there is the stock GoPro 9 lens obviously the Sun is Kind of got behind the clouds a little bit over there, but it looks absolutely beautiful. What do you think though? Can't wait to kind of get this out of camera and start editing. See what it all actually looks like. ND filters. Sunglasses for your camera. I love it. And here's what it looks like on me. The sun obviously hitting on me, but again, with the stock lens is it overexposed does it look okay what are your thoughts hey guys there's liz hey liz side note today's run kicking my butt it is 7 15 in the evening it when we started the run it was exactly 90 degrees. It's cooled off since then, a little bit. I'd say we're probably in the mid 80s. Whew. Today is the day that you keep going because you keep going. Hey everybody, you remember her. Hi guys, hi guys. <laughs> Don't worry guys though, we will be hanging with Liz here in just a little bit. As soon as we kind of start winding down doing our cool down together we'll see liz again all right guys it is time for liz yes. to join us back in with the 
the join real track. Me. Yeah, the real track. We're gonna cool down together here. How was your run? Boring. Yeah, it looked really boring. Super boring. <laughs> well, but how about your shin splints though? I'm better. Okay. All right, so, but still, still a little twingy in the left hip. No real pain on the left leg. Okay. Still a little bit more in the very bottom. Okay. Of the shin on the right foot. But all in all better, just not perfect. The pain's going down and down and down each run. Okay. So that's good. That is Tuesday. Like Another I said, Tuesday it kind of, it, it, uh, it beat me pretty good. Uh, how about you? I mean, do you just, were you just doing okay over there? I mean, it looked like you were just plugging along, so. I was just plugging along, trying okay. to like get a, it's really super hard to get a good stride. Yeah. And then you gotta turn. Okay. There's a whole lot of turning involved, so. I'm like, well, okay. Well, just keep being careful. Don't twist an ankle yeah, or anything like that's that. It. But guys, hopefully, again, we're trying to be careful now. And so that way, come Saturday, we're we can okay. actually do the 5K yeah. together. First. The biggest thing is recover from the injury yeah. and keep going forward. Yeah. And you're doing awesome. So, so yeah, all right, guys, can do. that's Tuesday. We'll so see you we'll Thursday. Hey guys, we are back. Happy Thursday to everybody. It's Friday Eve to me. Friday Eve is even better. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so uh, just a quick little update. We are using the uh, the new ND filter, the uh, 32, or sorry, the 16. We're using ND 16 filter here. So hope it looks good for you guys. I figured it was kind of later in the day. It's almost seven o'clock. It is 90 degrees outside. Yeah, it's still really hot. But the sun is, you know, starting to go down. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's very bright. I should have wore sunglasses for my face since I got sunglasses for the camera, right? I know. I got brought sunglasses. <laughs> we are back at the track. Yeah. Liz says uh, Liz says she's feeling good today. Yeah. Feeling good. Let's see how long I continue on the asphalt before being sent down to the minor leagues on the rubber mats. Yeah, but you're feeling good, and that's that's the best thing. Yeah, I mean, that is the best thing. Oh, here we go. We're off and running. Let's see how we do this. We are about a quarter of a way through this, yeah. uh, through our whole circuit, I guess you could say. Liz is still with me. Yeah, yeah. we're we're slow. we're over 17 minutes into this, including slow. the warm up. Slow. Yeah. Slow and steady. But that's good because it's hotter out anyways. Yeah, it's 90 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, it's 90 degrees in the shade. Yeah. So, but a little bit slower pace and we're able to keep our heart rate down. But the other thing I wanted to point out to you guys, Liz has got her cooling cloth on. And my fan. And, and <laughs> she's got the neck fan. So it's hot, y'all. Yeah, and we'll leave that in the link below. Go check it out because these are awesome. We used them at Disney uh, World. Yeah. Uh, so happy at Disney World with them. Yep, we use the, the cooling cloths, but the neck fan is amazing. It really is. Like, highly recommend it. Um, yeah. I'm not, I didn't think I would do so well running with it. Then so we brought his, I brought his anyway. Yeah. But I love yeah. it when you're standing in line at Disney. Oh yeah. It's perfect. And it's great with the cooling cloth too. <laughs> Air conditioning. It's like we're, we're like testing out all of our Disney equipment. I love yep. it. <laughs> hey Liz. Unfortunately, about 21 minutes in, Liz was unable to keep going on the track. She did a really good job for the first 21 minutes and she started to feel the twinge in her calves and in her shins. And she said the smart thing, which is <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the rubber mats and finish it out on that. And then we'll cool down together. I think she made the right choice. One of the other things I wanted to point out to you too, guys, in between our run days, we haven't mentioned this for a while, but we do strength training. Meaning that on Mondays and Wednesdays, Liz and I strength train. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, we run. And on Fridays and Sundays, we rest. Now, that's not to say that we might not, you know, harness up the dogs and take them for a nice walk or just get out, take a nice walk with each other. But 
we do something every day but definitely we do take that time to let our body recover on Fridays and Sundays but Mondays and Wednesdays we do work out so um, I feel like it's been a big key component um, for successful runs we definitely make sure that we're getting some kind of physical activity to keep our whole body strengthened now that being said you never want to overdo you never want to do like a whole bunch of extra leg workouts the day before you run because then your legs are going to be super tired the day you go running right there's no rest period there but the days that you do go run you know a little extra leg workout never hurt anybody but it uh it definitely keeps us going it keeps us in that mindset of doing something uh physically to keep our bodies going so highly encourage that if you guys are looking to do you know kind of the the run program like we're doing i'm back <laughs> all right guys so what we were in like 20 22 minutes in when yeah. i got sent back down to the minor leagues um it just was starting to feel tight all right on the ankle so i decided better safe than sorry and then went to the rubber mats i was able to finish the workout way less pain than i have been in so that's kind of it's really nice actually and um andy was running in the wild because i was on the baby rubber mats it happens um but for the past two days normally i stand at work for the past two days i have been sitting down i got this awesome calf massager foot massager it is so super cool okay got it off of amazon we'll leave a link in the description below yeah man i've been using it all day feeling really super good and then it does feel really good yeah it does feel really good like on your calves on your feet on your ankles yeah like it's really nice it's even got a heating element if you want to and add a remote heat controller to it. so that's really super nice too yeah um the other thing is and one of andy's co-workers brought it up because he was just like how's your wife's sodium levels right and that's a really good point because i don't like salt and being a celiac i don't eat a whole lot of processed food all right guys liz's arm got a little tired yeah, there uh, sorry. <laughs> all right but anyways you were saying, saying that i don't eat a lot of sodium I don't like a lot of salt. Um, I eat a lot of fruits and nuts and not processed food. And especially during the day where my lunch is grapefruit, yogurt, and nuts, right? Some kind of nut. Well, I wasn't even thinking about my sodium levels. And really for the past two months, man, I mean, we've been just increasing, increasing, and increasing our water intake. Mm -hmm. So yesterday and today, I've been watching my sodium levels. I mean, today I am out here with one of these liquid IV packets in my water. Yeah. And I also had one during the day. And man, it really did make a huge difference. It got you 21 minutes further than you have been. Yeah, in conjunction with yeah. sitting all day and the calf massager. So yeah, I did 21 minutes further. Yeah. And like I said, and I just backed out of it had of an overabundance of caution. Because yeah. it's like there's no need to hurt myself when no. if I just go back to the rubber mats, as boring as they are. Um, I'm going to do better the next run. Right. Well, and plus, not only that, and guys, listen, we'll leave the link to those IV packets again yeah. in the description. Uh, we left it last week as well. We really like them. We loved them at Disney World. Yeah. They were so super nice. Right. I mean, we didn't get dehydrated. And we were mid 90s no. when we were there in October. It was super, super hot right. and seasonably warm. Yeah. so we know we're going to do great with them on, in june they're a game changer they're a game changer for they sure really but are no more mid-afternoon headache because you haven't drank enough water right i mean you know because not enough sodium not enough potassium you, you get cramps right yeah and with shin splints and everything's just cramping up, up and that's yeah yeah so it was definitely not helping right so this helps a little bit obviously it's just all about keeping again you know we're trying to watch our macros and do all those things yeah. of course with the disney vacation coming up we're gonna fail completely on that just to warn you guys right now i don't think macros count at disney <laughs> the calories don't count the carbs don't count yeah. there are no macros at disney so anyways that's go with that. 
that's what's going on. I think this is a progression. So I'm very happy for yeah, you. Yeah, me too. I'm very happy. How'd that neck band do for you today? The neck band was really super good. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up wrapping the coolant. Well, it's coming undone now, but I was kind of wrapping the coolant cloth around it. It's pretty Put smart. It, like sweat too much on it. Nice. But yeah, I did really well. So it's still doing really well. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's Thursday, and uh, we are going to activity plan. Completed. The activity is completed. completed. Uh, but as of right now, we plan to do the 5K, the first 5K of our Lion King Summer Virtual Run Challenge Series. Man, that's a mouthful. Saturday. By Run Disney, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we plan to do that on Saturday. and Just maybe super slow. Whatever. Maybe the slowest 5K ever. We're going to do it. We're going to yeah, do we We're going to do it. That's, that's the we're biggest thing. We're going to complete and do it. Yep. So, can't wait to see you then, guys. It's Saturday. It's race day. And I'm here by myself, as you can see. Um, mainly because still battling those shin splints. So I'm starting out walking the track. And then Andy, though, is going to run from the house up here. Um, I didn't want to slow him down. Um, I wanted him to have the best race possible. Wearing my Lion King shirt. Now that you can really see because of my cooling cloth and my fan. And I'm really debating whether or not to go ahead and start running on the rubber mats instead of starting running on the track and having to move the main reason being that if i go ahead and just start on the rubber mats and i'm as nice to my ankle as possible my shin splints as possible because it's that lower part of my leg um but if i'm as nice to it as possible maybe i'll be able to get off the rubber mats when andy gets here and finish up the 5k with him and I think, having just said that out loud, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and be overly cautious, run on the rubber mats, take advantage of that, and then try to finish the race with Andy. And it's a beautiful day. There's really, if you kind of check it out, guys, it's really just not even a cloud in the sky. All right, so that one itty bitty little bitty crowd. I'm about to check back in when I'm on the mats and running. Um, so, I'll see y'all soon. Here we are, Saturday. I'm sure Liz has already told you guys, but we are doing the Lion King virtual run series for Run Disney. Today is our 5K. Uh, Liz is running the track, just making sure her injuries are gonna be okay. And I am running to meet her at the track. And also, today we are using the ND Filter 32 by Polar Pro on the GoPro here, but check this out. Look at that. Look at that. How beautiful. Unfortunately in Colorado, sometimes you have clear air days, which you would expect, right? In the Rocky Mountains. But where we are at the foothills, there's kind of this sink and all the dust and the pollution and everything from you know, really the the city of Denver and the surrounding suburbs, it all just kind of hits and it sinks sometimes right here where we are. So today, not super, not super quality on the air, but it's better than some days. <laughs> Finishing warming up, got about two more minutes left of warming up and just doing the 10 second run and 50 second walk just to kind of get the blood flowing. And then we're going to do 3.1 miles of 5K. And uh, we'll catch up with Liz. But we'll take you guys along the way. It's been quite a few weeks since I've run. So like, <laughs> it's been quite a few weeks that Liz calls running in the wild. So it's been, been a little bit since I've done that. I'm really glad to be doing it. I hope all goes well, but you're coming along for the, well, for the run, for the ride, for the run. We'll call it, yeah. So far, twingy but good. So not huge pain. But as I walk, I wonder what the people in those homes think about this crazy woman running on these rubber mats. They gotta be thinking, how strange. All right, we're getting close to the red light. And uh, it'll be, It'll be go time. We've made it through the traffic light back there. And now 
it is literally <laughs> all uphill for pretty much half the different distance between me right now and Liz. <laughs> so at least the last part of it is downhill. So I'll take that. But wish me luck. We are off and running. Look at that, guys. So that, that is my view. How pretty. Absolutely gorgeous over there. We're still cruising along. Man, man, I just really want to fast forward this thing. But we're doing it. So I hope Andy's doing good. No idea where he is right now. I guess I could stalk and find my phone and have a better idea. Um, but he should be cruising along. And I expect him to be here relatively soon. I'm just afraid he's going to have to wait for me to get finished. Oops. We were coming up close, very close. Maybe only a few more sets of uphill. And then we level out, then we go downhill, and then we'll level out again and then be at the track, which is all level. I really enjoy changing up the view, you know, just getting off of just a big circle at the track. Hope you guys appreciate it too. There's just so much, so much beauty you can see even from the track though, but it sure is nice to see it again, like, like Liz calls it, out in the wild. We're almost, almost to the top of the hill. I finally hit the top of the hill. We're leveling off and then it goes down. So that's good. But check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That right down there, it's the highway. Oh yeah. I can't wait to go downhill a little bit. Hope Liz is doing okay. I uh, hope she's in no pain, but if it is a little kind of what she calls twingy, I hope it's very little pain. She's put a lot of work into this. We both have, but I really, I've gotta, I've gotta say her spirit to fight through all this, all this pain and I guess just physical adversity just amazes me. I feel we'll both come out of this stronger. The way I look at it is if you're running, doesn't, doesn't matter what she's running on. She's doing it. She's putting in the distance and the time. So heck yeah. <laughs> All right. I can see it. We're about to go downhill. We are going downhill now. So I would say it's all downhill from here, but that's not true. We've been 1.16 miles out of 3.1, and it's going pretty smooth so far. The weather is cooperating. It's about 82 degrees, and it's been anywhere between 90 to 93 degrees when we've been running the rest the earlier this week. So, you know, the weather cooperating, hardly any clouds in the sky. There's a few, but it's mainly just full throttle sun and it's just gorgeous out. It's warm, it's not too terribly hot and you get to run downhill for a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of nice, I really, I really do appreciate that. But this whole stretch through here is really gorgeous. I gotta show you all the way through trees all around it's just gorgeous ah i'm in the shade look at this i just love this view <laughs> wow <laughs> this is just i don't know there's just something about this view right here this part of the trek looks so good yeah and then behind me looks pretty good too <laughs> i like it it's the little things, for sure. We're almost a mile and a half into this. So, almost halfway there, almost. And we're nearing the track. So, here pretty soon, we'll see Liz. All right, guys, there's Liz coming up on her high. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. We've met up. Right, and I am 2.17 miles in. Well, that's more than me. Really? Yeah, I'm 1.85. Nice, but he's... Oh, there's my buzzer. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's running. That's my walk buzzer. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay. All right, guys. We are in the end game now. We're at 2.75 miles. All right. So, just 0.35 more miles to go. Yay. Getting a little tired on that leg. Not shooting pains or horrible pains, but I can tell it's gonna be tight tomorrow. That's okay though. We're slow, but we're gonna finish this. And it really helps that now I'm not running alone and that Andy has shown up to run with us. Awesome sauce. I can't say as I'm happy to be back at the track. I mean, I'm here. Uh, you know, there's Liz. Yeah. I wish she was, uh, wish she was here with me, but she's doing what's best for her. And we're both doing this. It's the biggest thing. We're both doing this, but at least I still have a really pretty view of the mountains back there. Once I start going the other way, <laughs> but we're going to do this. I have now been two miles. We got 1.1 left. We're going to do this. We're going to do this and hopefully in good time. We'll see. We did it. I said, I'm ashamed of those times. Okay. Cause we've done, we've done way better times than that. All right. I think when we first started, we were better than that. But I had to back off the intensity. I drove to the track today. Andy ran from the house. So I did have a head start getting up here. Plus, he did not count the first 10 minutes where we do the 1050s. He didn't count that as part of his distance. I just felt like I had to did today. I really wasn't looking to be the hero. Ha ha ha, GoPro hero. And I really wasn't looking to be the hero and add distance and hurt myself even more. So, yeah. But I've finished with mine. He's still doing his. All right, but he's just chugging along. And, um, yeah. I think I'm about to get off the rubber mats, go along on the track itself, just to cool down. Because you can't just stop running and have your heart rate accelerated. Not good. Did it. Not the best time. Wasn't really expecting it to be. It's a little bruising on the ego. I'll admit that because I did want to be faster on that second 5k but sometimes man if the only victory that you can have is the fact that you completed and you didn't give up and you did it that's my victory today so I'm gonna get off of here though and see if I can't bug Andy a little bit on the track last six hundredths of a mile we'll be at 3.1 miles that will be our 5K. It will be in the books. <sighs> we are going hard till the end. And you're on it with us. We're just gonna run past this last interval. We can do it. We did it, guys. Look at that. We did it. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. We did it. We did it. We, we did it. Oh, oh. Okay. So now it's part of the cool down period. I'm doing 15 seconds running, 45 seconds walking. Because you cannot just stop in your tracks your heart will probably explode. But woo, that was a push. 14 minute, four second mile was my average pace for 3.1 miles. I'm very proud, especially that it's now 86 degrees outside. Wow, 
we did it. I cannot wait to meet up with Liz and talk about it. Wow. Also, real quick, as a disclaimer, okay, uh, I do not recommend you know, like sprinting through your finish line um, unless you feel super confident that's just who you are what have you but that's what i did my heart rate skyrocketed um and that's why that's why i want to put this disclaimer in here is i do not recommend it i was 20 beats uh, a minute over for that last piece of it um so i did it that was cool for me and you know that last little bit of juice that i had in me gave it everything i got oh that feels good <laughs> liz and i are back together Yay, reunited. That, that sounded really weird anyways we're <laughs> reunited there we go <laughs> yeah i like that word better boy that was that was a really fun run it uh it had its ups and downs literally because it went uphill downhill and then the track which is Flat. really hard i mean I think running the track has made me a better runner for the ups and the downs of the hills. I, I really do. I actually think it just, uh, I've, I've trained better and handled those with no problem uh, versus the first time we ever ran them and I had issues and breathing issues and yeah. all of that. I was very, very impressed uh, with, with what I accomplished for my personal best today. Today, my victory is simply the fact that I did indeed complete the 3.1 miles. All right, not the best of time, ego crushing, ouch, worst time ever. All right, is the way that we can say that. Okay. Um, but, you know, when I needed to, I backed down on the intensity. It took me longer to complete, obviously, you know, but I did it. I did it with good form. I had nice breathing throughout, you know, really didn't get too horribly bad on the heart rate either. We, we completed the first, the first one of, of three five Ks. Five Ks, yeah. Yeah, for the Fun <sighs> Disney Virtual Challenge, that Lion King series, and we're doing all three five Ks, yeah. and that's the challenge series is to do all three five Ks. So guys, this, is, this has been a, just another very long uh, run vlog this week, but the mm -hmm. thing is, is that we wanted to share it all with you, especially yeah, today with the 5K. Um, there's been some highs, some lows, some ups, some downs, and I think that's yeah. just running period, and I think every runner watching this can agree that some days are better than others. Some days, <laughs> some races are better than others. Yeah. Some trainings is better than others. I, I had a, I had a good day today. I know you weren't feeling it today, but you finished, and I'm very, finished, very proud of that. For I, you. I did what I needed to do. I ran on the rubber mats. I didn't have nearly the amount of pain that I have been in. So, you know, I'd say like 60% pain Thursday. All right. 80% pain Tuesday, like 60% pain Thursday. And today it was hovering around that 20 to 30% pain. And I was able to complete and run all the way through. Yay. So, yeah. Well, guys. And next week, we'll just take it nice and that's easy. That's what I was going to say. And then Disney World, I'm coming, Mickey. Next week oh. is going to be, next week is just going to be kind of like I said, you know, chill. chill. And, and then Disney. And then we're yeah. going to get lots of movement Disney. and exercise and miles and all of that <laughs> in at Disney <laughs> for nothing. sure. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this week. It means a lot to us. Uh, thank you for all your support during this and all the kind amount. words. Yes. Uh, also, guys, we, we love bringing you these vlogs. If, and if you'd like to support even further, check out in the description below. We've left a link to our PayPal account. You can definitely give that way if you'd like. Um, if you will, give this video a big thumbs up and share the video. It definitely does help. Go ahead and ding that notifications bell. That way you're going to know every time we put out a short in a video. And y'all, boom. Like I smashed this little 5K. Yeah. Like a little bitty bug. Smash that subscribe button. Please. <laughs> and until next time, get out there, have some fun, and we'll see you on the flip side. side.